My name is Justin Tyler Tate. I'm an artist. I was born in Canada and in the past 10 years or so I've been living and working internationally. I build installations. I do a lot of research and production projects as well. Sometimes I work collaboratively and I teach workshops. I think I've always worked with waste since, uh, since I was a child. It's always just seemed easier to take what's at hand rather than going out and buying something new. It's just my way of working. I like all materials. I think that wood is a really, uh, it can be really nice, it can be beautiful, but you can also work with it very quickly, which is nice. Um, and it's pretty ubiquitous, like easy to find anywhere. Um, relatively, depending on the place, yeah. So the projects for waste art can self-replicate. It shows the object and teaches other people how to make this object so that it can multiply through the digital presence of it. The, the growing aspect of it, um, I think, has multiple functions. It can be for, to supplement food sources, in terms of like urban centers or food deserts, could call them, or they could be like in a real agriculture setting uh, in order to occupy less, less land area or use less water. So in all the cases, it's about reducing carbon in the atmosphere um, or other uh, climate causing pollutants through phytoremediation and uh, carbon capture, I suppose. I've been learning about the processes that are involved and um, exploring the different materials that I'm using, the, the electronics, the, the compost tea that I've been using in it. Um, so I approached it more from like a social design standpoint rather than an art. And often my, my work kind of goes between those two things, or between many things, but um, often it's been getting more into social, social design lately, so it was nice just um, really follow the social design path. I feel like the work is an illustration of what you can do with waste, and you don't have to go to the shop to buy things, you can just adapt with the materials that you have on hand.